Hey guys, Austin here, Kraken Junk Removal, back with another video. Yes, that's right. Today we are on our way to the scrapyard. We have one load to drop off from that big commercial cleanout we did at the Johnson City Mall. So here we are pulling into the scrapyard to weigh, see how much metal we got. Man, I love these jobs. I love when I get scrap metal. It's always a surprise when you get there. You never know how much you'll get paid. And having that cash in hand is a good feeling. So here we are just taking a quick look at the van, seeing what kind of items we got. Yeah, man, we got these big, heavy lockers. Um, I, I hated throwing these things out, but we just had a baby girl born. And so my wife didn't want this stuff at home. And I asked a few people. I couldn't find anybody to get rid of it. So, uh, yeah, we tossed that. And we had this deep freezer from a job we just did recently. Tack that on to this load that we had from the commercial cleanout. So overall, we had a pretty decent amount of metal. Um, and we had about two to three of these filing cabinets. Uh, they're the two drawer ones. They weren't too bad. They're pretty light. So we got those out, no problem. And so now we're heading to our first quote for today. And you, you can see this driveway. You can probably hear my tires spinning. I thought I wasn't going to make it up. This was probably one of the steepest driveways I've ever driven up. But hey, we got up there, no problem. And here's a look at the job. The customer said she had a hot tub. It's been sitting on her property. They had just bought this. They just moved here, asked if we could demo it and remove it. And um, I don't even see a pump in there. So yeah, we got all the tools to get this job done. And uh, so we'll have to cut that up because she's on a steep grade. So here we are now at looking at another pile she has on her property. She has some old decking uh, that she demoed right there. And she said she had a swing set. So I imagine it's somewhere in that pile down there, but it's not too far from that hot tub. So we should be able to get our vehicles right up to it nice and close. Here we are coasting down that driveway. And man, this was kind of fun, actually. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it was a tight turn getting out there. So um, we're going to actually go do that job soon because yes we got the job and now we're on our way to quote number two for the day and when this customer reached out she said we got a shed i need demoed so you probably see it right there no i'm just kidding that's it up there and no that is not a shed that is a barn so just take a look at this thing it's massive so if you know who Shaquille O'Neal is, let's put this into perspective. Shaquille O'Neal, he's seven feet, one inches tall. And so we measured this thing. It was 24 feet long by 20 feet wide by about 15 feet tall. So again, to put that into perspective, if we use Shaquille O'Neal as a standard of measurement, that would be about three and a half Shaquille O'Neal's long about three shacks or Shaquille O'Neal's wide and about two Shaquille O'Neal's tall. This thing was a beast, let me tell you. And we couldn't just drive right up to it. She didn't want us driving through the property, but we would have had to go around a different way. And this thing looked like if you just touched it, it would have fell down, but it was a little sketch. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even want to get in there. You can start to see some of the wood right there bowing. But if you would have just tied a rope to that center post right there, you see, or even one of the other posts that are on top of those cinder blocks, this thing would have probably came down. So, yeah, we thought, again, this was the way we could have entered the property. But no, the customer said she didn't want us driving up there. So we gave her the quote. She said, can you do it for $500 less? I said, I'm sorry, ma'am, we can't. So we didn't get that job, but that's OK. I didn't think I would. Here we are at our third quote for the day. This is for a repeat customer. She said she had some down trees on her property, uh, too much to take pictures of. So we told her we'd stop by, and this is in Unicoi. So we counted about um, 11 trees that were downed, and they ranged from 20 to 50 feet, from 10 inches to two feet in diameter. This was probably the biggest one. And um, I actually did not get this job I sent her a quote and I actually was not comfortable with the job because as you'll see here in just a second, this grade, look how steep it is. 
I was afraid if I cut one of these things in half, it would have got loose, rolled down, and hit her house. And she said a tree actually already fell on her house. So I did give her a quote. I mean, I would have done it, but it wasn't something that I was comfortable doing. Um, here I am trying to measure the trees. My feet, or shoes, I should say, are exactly 12 inches. And right across the street, you can see that land there. She had about 19 to 20 trees and limbs that were down. She wanted that area cleaned up again. We sent her a quote for that first, and we never heard back from her again. I didn't think she would take the quote that I gave her. I didn't warn her it would be high, but she just wanted us to come out and take a look at it. So we wanted to provide her that service uh, since it was a repeat customer. But um, we never again got that shed job. Uh, that was close to the hot tub job that we got. So we decided to at least stop by and look at that shed for the customer because you got to pursue every lead you get. You never know what's going to come your way. And so getting one out of three jobs, hey, that's not bad. Cracking junk removal will take that any day. So we're excited to get that shed or that hot tub demoed and all that construction debris removed for our customer. We were actually going to go do it on Thursday, and that's today when I'm recording this, but it rained. So we're going to do it tomorrow on Friday 